All right, so today we are going to be um, coloring in your beautiful glue drawings that you did last week. And I just want to have you take a look at a few things on Van Gogh's original. First of all, I want you to notice how much texture he always had going on in his pictures. When you looked at the, when you come from the side, you can see the layers of paint on there. And with the oil pastels today, I think we'll be able to achieve that look um, as we move along. I also want you to notice the color yellow. It's not like straight out of the crayon box yellow. It's sort of this mustard yellow. So we're going to have to work to create that today. So um, here I have a glue drawing. And in order to achieve that yellow look, we're going to have to be layering. If I take this yellow and put it on, it's almost like it has a greenish tint to it or something like that. So I'm going to just start by coloring this in yellow. And then I need to refer back to the drawing and figure out what color would kind of help brighten this up or make it look more yellow. So what I could do is take a little bit of this mustard brown and maybe I would put that in there. But does anyone already know exactly what I really, really, really need to do in here? I need to take out my magical white. Because the minute I put in my white in there, it's going to brighten the whole thing up and you're going to be able to see all the colors that I've been putting in there. So right now I'm just getting this done. But in a little bit I could even come with some of this brown here and maybe draw in some of my petal details if I want to. It doesn't have to be that you're just coloring in this section. It can also be that you can add that texture on there. So that's kind of fun to me. And now uh, referring to the center of the sunflower, it's kind of a brown color. But there again, I don't want to just do the typical thing, do the brown and quit. I'm going to add maybe some white in here to brighten it up a little bit. I'm noticing here that I don't have any black, but if I did, I could do that. I have some um, forest green here that I could put in here to kind of tint it a little bit. You're going to have leaves. Here I'm using kind of a forest green, but again, I can lighten it up with that white. Um, so basically, you're going to be doing the flowers, your vase, your background, and your table. If um, you look at a lot of um, Van Gogh's different versions of his sunflower paintings, he had different colored tabletops. I'm just going to do mine kind of a brownish color. So you'll see if I just fill it first with the color. You don't ever, 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 it's not going to be good enough to just put down one color. You need to put down a couple. So I could add some yellow in there. And then I can already tell what I want to do. I want to put in my white in there as well. And then what I can do at the very end is smear it out if I want to. For my background, if I choose to do kind of this tealish background, I may want to start with blue. And I'm not going to do the whole thing because I don't want to bore you to death, but I could add some green in there. There's some turquoise I could add in there. And then I can always go and use my trusty white. And kind of blend that in and that makes for a pretty background. All right, I think you're gonna do great, have fun.